Hello and welcome to a very special Gun to Battle Operation 2 featuring the Zaku Machinery. A unit that appears in one of the, uh, I'm not going to attempt to say the French name, manga. Um, and it's uh, a reversed engineer Axe Zaku, effectively modernized to the standards of that day. Which is pretty nice. I always have been keen on the Axe Zaku. So this is a pretty nice unit. It's def definitely a very good upgrade to the Zaku 2. So if you're very interested, if you like the Zaku 2 and some of the variations of it, this is a fantastic continuation. Hopefully get some more levels. In game, it is a 450 cost ground and space capable general with a ballistic and beam resistance of 15, a melee resistance of 18, a range strength of 22, a melee strength of 23, a movement speed of a fabulous 130 and a thrust gauge of 65. For parts, we have close range of 14, medium of 10, and long range of 8. This is a mid range to close range unit, just so you know. And for equipment, we have the ZM or Zaku Machinery Zaku Machine Gun. It fires four round burst. It builds up a large amount of uh, stagger very quickly and can do some pretty impressive damage. Then we have the ZM Heat Hawk, which does also some pretty dang good damage. And it's pretty much what you'd expect for Heat Hawk fans. Then we have the ZM Rocket Launcher, effectively a four round bazooka which is nice to switch in to get a little bit of extra damage in that stagger, which teams up very nicely with the ZM Strom Faust, which is, um, well, pretty nice to have. It readies up reasonably well, has a decent enough reload time, and does some pretty good damage. And with the uh, rocket launcher, it can help you actually be quite annoying with the stuns. Then we have the flash grenade. It's a flash grenade, and yeah, good luck with that. Then we have the knuckle sealant launcher, which yeah, it's not bad. It can help you uh, with a little bit of the being annoying uh, game. For skills, however, we have leg shock absorber level 3, emergency evasion system, anti-blast stabilizers, flight control program level 2, high performance balancers, melee combo controller, high spec AMBAC level 2, forced injector level 2, very nice. Then we have anti-jamming level 2 and anti-stealth. This unit is really good at rooting out certain uh, raids, I'm just going to say. Then we have frontline support system level 2 and special right shoulder armor buffer. 30% less damage for taking it in the right shoulder. So, like when you have a shield, turn that side to the enemy when you can within game it's a uh, I would say it's a fantastic very well balanced general meant to be somewhat more aggressive than the machine gun would make you think it's very interesting in use but I would say this is a unit for people who want to play a fairly aggressive general that can get in there stun and smack people around and then when it needs to back out switch over to that zaku machine gun and just blaze away or throw that in to uh, stagger some people in a uh, in an exchange with your guys it's a very good suit i think it's a fantastic one and i hope it gets some more levels so let's see how it does in the match to come hello everybody welcome to the match hope you're having a fantastic time and this might be at least entertaining thing to see how the unit works or get a kind of an insight in um, ways it can play now i tend to be a little bit more aggressive in uh, gameplay so it's one reason i struggle with supports and well this one i had got it fairly recently because i never get things when released and well you know things happen so i'm going to shoot over here to b drop down get out and collect my uh, good lad points real quick always good to grab a uh, a point if you can and you're not under pressure or going to get jumped always helps the team so i see the teams engaged in the front so i'm going to move up a little bit and i'm going to do a little bit of peeking 
throw that out there. Get a little bit of shot, but mostly took that in the right, so that helped. There's a little bit of damage. Uh, now, it does about 130 damage against the support with each shot. So I'm trying to rotate. We're going to fire. We're going to catch him in the leg. Go forward. He's going to dodge. Now we know he can't really do too much, so we're just going to rattle some shots off into him and kind of run him off from there. So we're going to wait, fire that off. And those uh, Stormfowls do reload really, really quick. So I'm just going to sit here and have him waste time and effort trying to shoot me. So he's figured that out. We're still messing with that support. So I got two of them anchored over here while my team's able to react to the rest of their team. Kind of weakening them a bit. So we're just going to keep uh, doing a little bit of damage. Number three is going to move up. So we're going to be more aggressive. We're going to miss our shot here, but we're going to try to push him a little with the melee, but we're a little short. It's been a while since I used the, uh, the Heat Hawk. We'll switch over to the Rocket Bazooka, hit him there, and we're going to let Mr. 3 get the uh, finish him off. As we had a high five for our efforts. And we're going to turn around. Now we see some guys coming up behind. We're going to fire off a shot. Boop. Now we're going to knock this guy down a little bit. And we're just going to disengage, and we're going to use our weaponry to basically pass through that. And there he is. He's gone. Um, we see some shots off to the uh, right. And we're going to move over and go after this guy. And then hit him with that, push him off. I see that the support fire is going to come in, so I'm going to try to lock him up for a second. Then I got to turn over here, take my opportunity to knock the, the Zeusa down. Now, I don't do massive damage against him, but hey, you know, he's right there. What am I supposed to do? Look at the, how delicious he looks. Fire, miss. But you know what? That's fine. Take advantage of our maneuverability. And we're just going to uh, have a little bit of a gunfight because I know I'm going to stagger before he can. So we're going to use this, come in. And we're going to hit him with down strike. Move over here to take some cover. Switch over to the machine gun. And we're going to do a little bit of peeking. Now technically, I'm not going to outfire the uh, that unit. But I was just trying to wait him out. So we're going to switch over to the Stormfaust. Wait for a second. Fire into the darkness. Hit the guy once. Not go for the down strike. Because that would be rude. And we're going to pay attention to the guy behind us, come over here, miss our shot, but hey, he's already getting countered. We're just going to add in a little damage with that machine gun. You can see it does some pretty good damage. Now we know there's a guy behind us. And I'm going to switch over because I know he's here. I see him coming up, so we're just going to finish him off real, real quick. We're getting machine guns. So we're going to help number four and our other guy put a little bit of pressure on him. Try to uh, make his legs suffer. We're going to chase him down, catch him with that, knock him down, knock our friend down. But, hey, we wanted to uh, keep this guy from going in for the destruction. So, he's going to run away. And our uh, sports for the moment are pretty safe. I'm going to throw some shots down the way. And we're going to take him out. Shazam! Not bad. So we're going to spawn in at B here. And we're going to push a little bit. Um, things aren't looking so good. But we're going to keep on um, putting the fight out. No reason not to. Now we don't have a huge amount of uh, backup. So what I'm trying to do is, well, do as much as I can. Do what damage I can. I'm going to hit him. But we got a guy directly behind us. And we're going to die pretty quickly here because we're just caught out in a bad situation. So, there we are with our second death. Much faster than the first. So, we're going to spawn in at uh, B as 5 goes to uh, do a little base bomb. We're going to come in, catch our uh, friend here, push him off, and uh, back up a little bit. Fire a shot just as a precaution. See that we got a friend over here. Give him a little bit of a stagger stagger. Then we're going to just push through this napalm to knock him down because it's better to have him down than up at the moment. Push on the Zasa. And uh, we're just going to keep being annoying to him. 
Now, I know there's a guy behind me. I'm going to just do a little bit of dodging. He's going to get uh, taken up by the other guy. So we're just going to put pressure on the support. Get rid of him so that he's not our problem. Then we're going to turn over to this Gaza whatever. I can't remember the number. We catch him with the, uh, the down strike. And we see a guy in the water. Well, we're going to come over and give him a present. And then we're going to start rattling away. Number four is just going to jump into the pool. So we're going to push while we have number four there. Catch him with that, and then we're going to take him out. Thank you for that very quick thousand plus points, uh, enemy team. Now, five is not getting, I don't believe they're trying to defuse at the moment. And it's a little late for them, as uh, I believe number two is taking the C spot. So there we go. We are now in the lead. Um, was a bit of a, a push on that part. So we're going to push a little ahead of uh, our support here. And we're going to wait for it, wait for it, fire, get him with that, fire, miss. And we're just going to push these guys a little bit. We don't need to kill them, we just need to make sure we don't die. And um, we are not in a, a position necessarily to win. We're just kind of fighting for the good fight now. So we're going to throw some damage out there. Turn, fire, not connect. We're going to fire again, miss. And uh, we're just going to keep pushing with our team. There's always a potential, ladies and gentlemen. There's always a potential. We're going to hit him, knock him down, and that's pretty much it. Our guys weren't able to finish off the Gaza. So let's see how we did. Heck of a fight on both sides. So, there's our shame. Three board positions and first place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.